What's going down, Bolt Hunters? And today we're gonna go ahead and bring out August 6th and it's hot fixes. On top of that, if you are in the land of Borderlands Less and Borderlands 3, you can literally download it from Steam to console of your choice. I mean, I mean anything from PC from your outlet pretty much for free for the weekend. It's good to the ninth, so they do that from now on now. And I think that's pretty rad. But right now, what we're going to go ahead and break down is the gaming news. Throughout the weekend, I'm sure Randy will probably sprinkle out some golden keys to kind of add to the momentum of this really cool Borderlands weekend. So let's go ahead and hop and see what they changed in the patch notes. So most of you that came in last time for the returning community members, what's going down? But for not, my name's Mac, the McGabber 7 channel. I know. <laughs> I changed the screen this time. I wonder if anyone caught that. Um, but... What they basically are announcing and what's being pushed through throughout the network right now is literally they're starting their events, which are pretty cool. So throughout this month, going up to September, up until the anniversary of Borderlands, we're going to be seeing some cool stuff. So you should get excited. Very excited. And if not, you should be excited now. But looking at the situations of what they changed, it's down to the persons of the summer events, which is going to go for the bonus of the boss and the loot. And that's good until the 13th. So we're probably going to get about like... um about a week give or take a little under that the discounted items on the day and the veteran rewards in the machine so that's pretty sweet the beastmaster now has a stalker skill so that the weapon damage in the big game will use a cosmic stalker class mod so in the situation past that where the punk enemies to the mark and the humanoids we look at the reports and the concerns of the gunners that would lose the bonus in the sleeping giant after entering the iron bear addressing the reported concerns where the switch in the mayhem levels could cause some of the areas to spawn in more iridium than intended i don't think that that's an issue like seriously I, who complained about that like that's a good thing that was probably a borderlands employee it was like it was us it was gearbox Last thing to make the list and the very portion of what they're going for is the disabling the ability and the enemies and what they can actually sit there for as far as the adding spawns during the King Boo Boo fight. Yeah, that shit was pretty boo boo before. But let's go ahead and take a closer look at what happened with the weapons. So apparently they're boasting very significant improvements for as far as what happened from the previous patch till today. But if you are having issues, I definitely give you the opportunity to leave a comment down below. Uh, but on top of that, the lead spiker has increased some damage on the reflux, increasing the chance of the projectile chain on top of the brainstormer. It's going to be thinking a little bit harder on that projectile train as well. Hyperfocus joins as well as the carrier with the weapon damage and then the unseen threat inside of their damage in the homing bullets with critical hits. Yes, they're going to be punching it. Floating like a butterfly, stinging like a bee. But the wagon wheel is the next thing that just goes down that dusty trail with the improvement on damage as well. Where the bear cat is the very last thing on our list that we can see so far. That's going to bring us to a situation where the ammo cost goes from four to three. So it means that there's a reduction. So besides you getting nerfed a little bit right there, you have a Rowan's call for the accuracy, which is nice. Uh, on top of the situation with the call getting a reduced portion of where the projectile and the increased damage so that's a pretty nice well-balanced situation going on there the king and queen call increased damage on top of uh tig's boom the complex roots and top of the moon fire and then looking at the fastball the mongol and the cutsman everything is kind of getting there except for the very two towards the center where the moonlight and the complex root had damage charge time and then we had looked at the increased fire rate which is not too bad pretty cool stuff so, like I mentioned before, definitely check out this free weekend. It's going to be kind of cool. They're going to have a lot of cool stuff for, well, staycation people, really. It's still at large, still fun, and still that situation where you want to go into kind of cool stuff. But, if you're new to the network, you can always subscribe. Absolutely free. Helps me as a creator. And that brings us to the very end of our patch notes, which is pretty cool. Very basic stuff, rebalanced stuff. But I do want to hear from the community and some new people that are kind of floating by. What are you thinking about the game nowadays? Are you excited about the awesome time we're going to have this weekend all gaming it up? Um, who knows? There might even be some golden keys. So you should definitely join if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys and gals in the near future. And if you subscribe today, who knows? Maybe, just maybe, Google will actually produce a good pixel. But I'm not counting on it because they only got four. And it ain't some 480p. So they got a long way to go. I'm going Samsung. I'm sorry, Google. I'm giving up on you. You just... 
Not the same phone I used to love. Pixel 2 was great though. That was, that was a boss phone. That's right. Anyways, I'm talking phones and we're actually in a freaking gaming like cap. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna like digitally get out of here. Later.